Gentlemen, do not ever, ever apologize for being in a fraternity. You don't need to defend it. You don't need to make it sound great by talking about how much money you raise in your fraternity, the, the charities that you do. That's not the reason it's good. Fraternities are great places. In fact, the best place on college campus is to turn good men into great men just because of the fact that they exist. In fact, college fraternities, I'm convinced, are going to save universities and save America. I'm Anthony Bradley. I teach at the King's College in New York City. I have a book coming out called Heroic Fraternities. And I want to talk about just two main areas why I think that if you are in Greek life, you need to be proud of that. Put it on the top of your resume. Put it on the top of your LinkedIn account. Wear your Greek letters with pride because you are in one of the most effective organizations for making good men into great men. That's why you join the fraternity in the first place. We have proof. We have data. We have real data on why being in a fraternity is one of the best decisions you'll ever make in your life. Listen to some of this. Fraternity members report having higher levels of positive mental health and less depression and anxiety than unaffiliated members. I mean, being in a fraternity introduces you to great friendships, a brotherhood, you have a ton of fun. All of those things contribute to positive mental health, positive emotion. That is one of the greatest enemies to anxiety and depression. Great friends, a brotherhood, and a lot of fun. So it, it makes sense that being in a fraternity is going to lower levels of depression and anxiety and so on. Uh, nearly 80% of fraternity men report excellent to good mental health and well-being. When members seek help, they are twice as likely to turn to a brother than anyone else. Fraternity members believe that, good, that a good support system exists on campus for students going through a tough time. They have confidence about the fact that they have somebody who has their back and they can go to. Fraternity members are more likely to seek therapy or counseling at some point in their lives. Why is that? Because they're used to talking about tough issues. Fraternities provide an environment where members can have tough conversations, especially about personal issues like relationships, family, and mental health struggles. So, of course, of course, it's a fact. It's a fact that being in a fraternity is better for your human connections. And, of course, it's better for your mental health. And, of course, it's better for getting you in the habit of being honest and vulnerable because you can do this first with the brothers who have your back, the men that you trust. And secondly, it has major outcomes for how you perform academically and in the marketplace. Listen to this data. 83% of fraternity members indicate strong leadership confidence as a result of their fraternity membership. Fraternity members show, show significantly higher learning gains than their peers in the first year of, of college. Being in a fraternity, by definition, sets you up to thrive and to perform better, to outperform your peers. Despite being less diverse than students in general, fraternity members report having higher levels of interaction with people different from themselves than do other students. If you're an independent, you self-select the people that you hang out with and you only hang out with people that are usually just like you. But you can't do that in a fraternity because a fraternity is rushing people and pledging people who are vastly different. And one of the stupid things that we do is we look at diversity cosmetically by skin tone and by height, by weight, things like that, as if that's the definition of what diversity means. But you can have in a fraternity different political views, social views, different religious practices, all different kinds of, of diversity, and you're much more likely to encounter and engage that level of diversity when you're forced to in a brotherhood than you are if you are an independent. So you're much more likely, the data says, 
to have more diversity in your life, and you will carry that practice out in your life when you graduate. Do not apologize if cosmetically your fraternity looks the same because you know that within your fraternity there's tons of diversity, and unlike the independents, you have to learn how to love and care for and support and have the brother's back who's, who is radically different than you. So again, do not apologize forever, ever apologize for being in a fraternity. Here's some more data. Fraternity alumni are twice as likely to feel that their alma mater has prepared them well for life after college and that they gained great job-related skills. Fraternity alumni report that they found jobs faster after graduation and were more engaged in the workplace. Fraternity members leverage their networks with almost half stating that another member helped them find an internship or job and provided them with career advice. Fraternity members experience stronger retention and persistence in life after graduation. So it sets you up for success in terms of your relationships, in terms of your capacity to be a great man, and then it also has major leverage opportunities in the marketplace. You're much, a you're much better leader. You're more engaged in the workplace. You have a greater sense of well-being in terms of your career, community engagement, financial responsibility, and physical and social well-being. That's what the data says. So who are these people saying that you should not be in a fraternity? And that it's, it is on net balance detrimental to a man's development to be in a fraternity. Absolutely not. If you're on a man, if you're a man who's on a journey of self-improvement, the best thing that you can do in your life in college is to rush a fraternity. It is the best opportunity on a college campus for you to become an outstanding man. It's the best opportunity for you to become a great man because of all of the things that it provides just by virtue of existing. So if you're like me, I'm tired of defending them, of trying to make them sound like they're, they're something different than they are, to make them fit into what people think the college experience should be like. No more apologizing, no more excuses, no more sugarcoating. It's time to go ahead and lean into what they are. Fraternities are places where good men become great men. And that's where we stand. So be heroic about it. Use your power and your presence and your strength and your creativity and use that in your fraternity for the benefit of your brothers and those on your campus.